Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home. Um, thanks for coming back to the channel. Just a quick update before I jump into this review. I am going to need to take about a week off uh, from any video content. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, you'll see why. I don't want to get into too much detail, but it, it's not a bad thing. It's just I'll, I'll be gone for a week, and so um, there won't be any videos for the next week. Just something to uh, note. Um, also, Remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications. That way you'll know when I'm back, when I'm back to producing videos next week, uh, and you'll be notified right away of that. And like I said, follow me on Instagram. That's a great place to keep up to date with everything that's going on outside of YouTube. Um, so in today's video, I've got a really cool uh, box set review to do from Arrow Video. So. Arrow Video, as you know, is um, right up there with like the Scream Factory folks in terms of uh, remastering old horror, cult, exploitation type movies, uh, putting them out on Blu-ray with excellent special features. Um, I'd actually probably compare Arrow more to Criterion than I even would Scream Factory. The Arrow Video stuff, I think, is usually a little bit better premium packaging uh, even than the Scream Factory stuff. And so one of the cool things that uh, Arrow Video started to do was what they called the American Horror Project. And uh, the first volume of the American Horror Project, which I do have here, uh, this came out, I want to say, in 2016. I'd have to double check. It may say it here on the box, actually. Yeah, 2016 Arrow Films. So basically what they've done is they've gone back through... Um, and they've gone through some lesser known horror movies, American horror movies. And they say here on the back, I'll read you a little something. Everyone knows the classic American horror titles, Night of Living Dead, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Nightmare on Elm Street. But we want to tell you a different story, a story of the unsung heroes of Stars and Stripes terror. Films that have remained on the fringes of the genre, either through lack of availability or else sheer obscurity. This is where the American Horror Project comes in. So what they've done is they've taken pretty obscure um, cult horror movies, American horror movies, and they've completely restored them from whatever elements they can find. And so going back, I reviewed this volume one uh, box set on a website three years ago, and the transfers are rough. Yes, they are you know cobbled together with whatever remaining elements they could find, whatever film cells they had whatever film reels, digital, whatever they ended up having, most of it's old film that they had to restore. And so there's scratches and cuts and stuff on the film, but it's really cool what they've done. They've taken these basically unknown movies and um, put out this excellent box set with an introduction. Uh, I believe it's Stephen Thrower is the guy's name. He has kind of worked on this project and introduced everything. Yeah, Stephen Thrower. Um, and so they do an introduction, they introduce the movie. It almost feels like you're watching something like, um, uh, I, I don't, I don't know exactly, you know, maybe like it's, it's sort of like the twilight zone where they sort of introduce the story and then they jump into it. Um, so that's kind of cool. And the transfers are, are really well done considering what was available. Um, they're rough. Like I said, they're rough cuts, but, um, there's almost nothing on these movies out there. And so from what they were able to do with the restorations, incredible. And um, the nice thing is, Volume 1 came out in 2016. It took some time, um, but just recently I was able to get in from Arrow the American Horror Project Volume 2, which is pretty cool. Um, so this is, again, three obscure um, American horror movies that they have completely restored and remastered for Blu-ray. Uh, comes in a nice little box set where... Um, basically each movie uh, gets its own, you know, Arrow video case. You have The Child, um, you have Dark August, and you have Dream No Evil. Uh, those are the three. Right now they're not being sold separately. I do think, if I remember correctly, that the three from Volume 1 um, eventually were sold separately. But for now, the only way you're going to be able to get these is uh, through the box set. And the other cool thing they do, and this is pretty substantial, um, it's got 58 pages, and this is what they're calling the American Horror Project Journal, Volume 2. Volume 1 also has um, a similar book, 
and there are, are multiple essays in here um, from authors uh, talking about each of these movies and the significance of them. There's also, I mean, there's a lot to read. I mean, it's a, it's a legit, you know, 60 page book, um, which is really cool. That's the nice thing Arrow does. This is where I compare them to Criterion, where they're giving you extras like this. Um, and so in here, there is an essay by Amanda Reyes on uh, exploring loss, grief, and the American Gothic and Dream No Evil. There's uh, an essay by Stephen Bissett on Dark August and Vermont folk horror, which is pretty cool. Uh, and one by Travis Crawford called, I don't know if to tell you anything, exploring the enigmas of the child. Um, and then on page 56, there is um, some talk uh, about the restorations, which is really cool. Um, and so they were all uh, scanned at 2K, all completely graded, restored. Um, I'm trying to look at where the materials were um, given from. Looks like Dream No Evil came from somebody named Kit Parker in UCLA Film and Television Archive. Um, Dark August came from um, Deluxe Audio Services. So it's like they're just finding these old movies in you know places you wouldn't think they're trying to find is the best elements they can to go ahead and, and restore it. Um, and so it's just a really cool project and it's something that I've always uh, supported them on because this is the kind of work that I think is really important for physical media is um, kind of building out an archive and getting them on disc instead of having old film reels which can deteriorate and break down and, and be lost basically. Um, getting older movies like this on disc that are obscure and kind of creating this this library, this archive of unknown cult horror movies, um, which is super important. So I love the work that they're doing. Now, on the movies themselves, like I said, there's Dream No Evil, Dark August, and The Child. Um, my favorite of the three was Dark August, but that's because it does have a little bit of that New England folklore. It is uh, a Vermont uh, folk horror, as they said in the essay. And it has that really kind of cool feel that movies like um, like Stephen King movies have. I mean, it's not to that level, but um, in terms of just like excellent like filmmaking, because these are obscure kind of cult movies. But it's really cool because it's on that same level of like you're in New England. It's like The Witch. It's like, um, you know, Pet Cemetery. It's like that type of stuff. The New England folk horror. Um, I really like being from the area. And so that one was my favorite. Um, the Child is also really good. Dream No Evil I didn't connect with as much. Um, but, I mean, overall, interesting three movies. The transfers were kind of um, all over the place. I'd say that um, Dark August transfer was pretty good because they got all the elements from one source. Uh, Dream No Evil had a little bit of a tough time because they had to take from a few different sources, but still very well done. It's just you can tell there's some cuts, scratches, you know, whatever on the film, which is totally natural. It really makes it feel like you're in this sort of like old uh, movie theater, you know, grindhouse type theater and watching these um, just old cult movies on kind of torn up film. Like it, it gives you a really cool look and feel and it's just amazing to have these restored at all. Um, and restored in HD to the ability that, you know, the, the level that Arrow Video has done here is, is really great work. Um, I also really enjoyed the introductions by Stephen Thrower on each of these. And, and so it's a really nice set. I would, I'd highly recommend this one. Um, if you don't have Volume 1, I'd go find Volume 1 first. That'll kind of give you a feel for what you're dealing with. Um, and if you like Volume 1 then I definitely recommend Volume 2. They're really nice box sets. They're quality. They're not like cheap, flimsy cardboard. Each one of them comes with three individual titles. So if you want to take them out of the box set for whatever reason, you could throw them on a shelf. They both have um, the booklet, the journal. The only kind of curious thing with the packaging is that on the American Horror Project Volume 1, they do have the text on the back, which helps you um, uh, read about what you're actually going to be watching. And on volume two, there is no text. It's only on the J card. Um, I thought that was kind of an interesting take, but you know, is what it is. But overall on a shelf, you know, these two look great to display. Um, and it's just great to support Arrow Video when they're doing work like this, when they're doing heavy restoration work. You know, it took three years, right? There's a three year difference between volume one and volume two. It took them a very long time to put these three movies together. 
And so I'm happy to support what they've done. Overall, you're not going to get the best Blu-ray experience. If you're looking for a demo quality disc, this is not what you want. Even on volume one, which was, in my opinion, very well done, your audio is just a mono track. It's a 1.0 single channel mono track. I mean, it's all they can get, right? Um, and I'd have to double check these again uh, on the restoration, but I, I'm pretty sure having watched it, it was the same. Yeah, mono, 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 yeah. So it's all mono audio. It's just single channel audio, but, um, you know, so it's not gonna blow you away. This isn't gonna blow away your surround sound system. This isn't gonna blow away your new 4K TV. Um, but if you're a horror fan, like these are must haves in my opinion, because these are the types of movies that you don't hear about. You know, Scream Factory may take all the old 80s slashers and restore those. And so more people are watching movies like Sleepaway Camp and The Burning and Night of the Demons and, and stuff that maybe would have got kind of slipped to the side. Vestron Video is doing the same with cult movies with uh, Chopping Mall and um, trying to think Maximum Overdrive and Waxworks and Chud and, and stuff that, oh, Blood Diner, stuff that also wouldn't have made it out there. But what Arrow's done is they've taken these really cult movies that don't have any sort of, like these didn't make it to VHS, they didn't make it to DVD, um, you know, there's never been a real physical media release, and they've just completely restored them in HD, which is uh, incredible and well worthy of our support. And if you're a horror fan, if you're a fan of the history of film, if you like Criterion type stuff, um, this is a great box set for you. I highly, highly recommend it. And uh, definitely head over to arrowvideo.com. You can find it. Another great place to find Arrow video titles is uh, actually Barnes & Noble. Every so often they have like a 40% off sale on Arrow video. Um, and the other thing you can do is, is check out Arrow video for sales. It'll also be on Amazon and most of your popular places. If you're in New England, Bull Moose will likely have this for a pretty good deal. Um, so look around, but uh, I do recommend it if you're into that sort of cult horror history, 70s, 80s type stuff. Um, this is a really cool box set with tons of special features. And if you haven't already, grab volume one as well. Um, you know, I don't know the print run on these. I know they're both limited. So volume one may be out of print now. You'd have to check, but um, volume two is just about to release. And so I recommend that one heavily. Um, overall, that's it for today. Just a quick review there, just quick props to Arrow Video for, for having gone through this project and uh, continuing the project, you know, not giving up after volume one. Here's volume two. Hopefully we get volume three uh, and so on because it's a really important project in terms of, um, you know, remastering, restoring old films, which otherwise may be lost. Um, so that's the kind of thing, especially if you're a big physical media supporter, this is the time to throw your money behind something like that. Um, you know, give them the sales, tell them it's worth what they're doing and keep pushing it forward so we can keep supporting uh, great companies like Arrow and Criterion and Screen Factory and all those others who are doing restorations. Um, it's super important. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully you go out and grab this. I do think it's worth it. Uh, remember, subscribe, notifications, follow me on Instagram. Like I said, I do have a week off here. Um, I'm taking off for a week and so there won't be any videos, but if you follow me on Instagram, that'll be a great place to keep up. Uh, also, feel free to message me over on Instagram. That's a great place to get in touch. And um, quick thank you to everybody who has uh, donated to the U.S. Navy uh, project. I just recently dropped off at our storage facility dropped it off with the organizer of that project. I uh, gave him about 250 movies, most of them donated by viewers and followers on Instagram. Uh, and so that builds out another library, basically with five or six people donating 40, 50 movies a piece. We've now adopted a new ship. We have enough movies to adopt a new ship, build out their first media library. And there were some great titles in there. So I'm super appreciative of that. And uh, I'm sure the Navy is as well. And so if you are interested at all in donating, um, please let me know. The best place to get in touch is through uh, Instagram DMs. The other option is to go to my YouTube about page uh, and the email for this channel is in there. You can shoot me an email as well. Um, other stuff, if you wanna support the channel, there are PayPal donation links below as well as lots of Amazon links. If you'd like to buy things like my home theater seats or my media shelving, my speakers, my subwoofers, my new receiver from Denon, uh, my projector screen, my projector, 
Um, and then as well as 4K and Blu-ray movie deals, there's all kinds of links that I've set up. Um, I've set up little storefronts for movies so you can check out the latest movie deals and direct links to those other products. If you do purchase them through Amazon, uh, I get a little bit of a kickback, helps support the channel, and so I appreciate anybody who does that. Um, other than that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Definitely go out and grab American Horror Project Volume 2. Well worth the cost. I think it's going to probably be 60 70 bucks on release day. But if you figure you're paying $20 for a new release title anyway, and you're getting three of them, pretty much a wash with a nice box set. So highly recommend it. I'll see you guys in a week. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. And I'll talk to you later.